Alrighty, starting off with the box of knives. So, this was from a prior client, and she reached out to me and asked me if I could sharpen just a bunch of knives. To which my answer is always yes. I love working with people and being able to do things, especially when there's a story behind them. And the story behind these ones is she went to Goodwill because she works at a camp during the summer doing an outdoor cooking class. And also, just off topic right there, you saw me, I realized that my angle adjustment wasn't correct and something felt off. So I adjusted it. But back to the story. So she bought a bunch of knives and wanted me to sharpen them because that's a problem that they were having at the camp is all the knives were super dull and she all, um, she understands the concept of a dull knife is a dangerous knife. So she had me sharpen a bunch of knives, with mostly kitchen knives and then a few pocket knives, which you'll get to see them going through the ultrasonic for a little bit. So I had an absolute blast doing these and apparently... At the camp, they had an absolute blast using them. So with the beginning process, it's just taking them all on the 120 belt and making sure that there's no nicks in the blade and making sure I get that burr to roll over to the other side. And then we'll progress on from there. So I've got a question for you. Do you think Damascus knives are still viable today? Or do you think that the modern heat treats of the modern steels nowadays make Damascus obsolete? Let me know. Back to the sharpening. So in this video, you'll only see the 120, but I did progress on to the 600 and then stropping just because I wanted them to have a nice general purpose edge, which Typically, when I'm going to a client's house, that is the progression I will do, unless they ask me for something different. And if they ask me for something different, it'll typically be, okay, do you want it to here, or do you want it finer? Typically finer for, like, cutting salmon or something along those lines, and to here for cutting vegetables or something that's going to take a little bit more abuse. And jumping over to a little project. So this is all the pocket knives that came in that bucket that you saw. And she just asked me if I could uh, sharpen them, but I also wanted to go through the process of giving them a nice little cleaning. So just a little soap and water and decided to throw them in there, get them all clean. The Kershaw that's green right there, really like it actually, it's a little lock back, but there was sand in the action, and she asked me if I could do anything about that. So that was the primary reason for pulling out the ultrasonic and sticking them in there. All right, now that we're back up top, you can see I'm still just going away at these knives. It took quite a minute, but I really enjoyed it. I just got into a nice rhythm and kept going. So one of my favorite parts about sharpening is getting to hear the stories behind these knives. So this one was just abnormal in the fact that I got a story prior to the knife being sharpened, as opposed to, okay, people using a knife and accidentally cutting themselves and sent me a picture and go, yeah, these are sharp. So that's a typical result. But with this, it was, okay, getting to talk about the outdoor school and just what an impact it has on kids nowadays, because so many kids grow up without the ability of being able to be outdoors or get a fun experience being outdoors. I'm very fortunate in the fact that during high school, I went to an outdoor school half the day, every day for four years. And it was elevated science, English, and an elective. But I loved it. And honestly, I wish more people could go through something like that because it taught me a lot of life skills. And also looking back a little bit now. So my typical cadence per side is three. So I'll do three passes on each side just to make sure it's nice and even. In all honesty, I probably could have gone four or five or even six in this case. But for me, 
three has always been a sweet spot and something it's I get in rhythm and it works for me and it just becomes second nature at a certain point. And I'm betting some of you have already guessed it. But for those of you that haven't, this video is actually sped up. So it's double the speed of actually how fast I'm going. And that's very important because you can go too fast or even too slow. Too slow and you run the risk of tempering the blade or something along those lines at the very tip. And going too fast, I mean, you're just going to be making more and more passes. I mean, very safe, but at the same time, there's a fine balance between too slow and too fast, just for material removal. So I bet you're pretty bored now and watching the same knife. But mostly I wanted to show you just how this process can take a while, especially when there's pretty good chips and nicks in a blade. But the client was absolutely ha ecstatic with the results. She loves the work that I do, and I'm very thankful for that. So we're going to pop down to Ultrasonic, and you can just see the results. That water is disgusting. So... I'm glad I did that just to clean up the actions, as well as just cleaning them up in general. So, took them over to the air compressor, blew them out, oiled them up, and gave them a nice little sharpen, and they turned out great. So, thank you for sticking around to the end of the video. If you're not already, consider subscribing. I hope you stay happy and healthy, and I'll see you on the next one.